All right, okay, my people. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's far more effective and impactful than vibe coding, and actually a lot more fun. Hugo Bound Anderson here from Vanishing Gradients. I recently did a workshop on building AI agents with AI-assisted programming with Eleanor Berger and Isaac Flaff from Elite AI-assisted coding. The link to the workshop and the blog post and the GitHub repository with all the code is in the descriptions, but Let's jump into the lessons that I learned from them. Firstly, avoid vibe coding, right? We may know this, but aimless experimentation leads to all types of unpredictable and horrible results. Use the process I'm about to show you as a way to actively learn and upskill and recognize that engagement is key and informed control. The more that AI writes, the more you need to be in the loop as a thinking partner and have it as a thinking partner. Don't outsource the thinking, which is some of the most important and fun stuff. So what are we doing here? We're doing specification driven development. What I want you to do is to plan before implementing, generate a detailed plan before writing any code, be verbose and specific. After you write the plan with the AI, uh, review the plan, correct misunderstandings and refine choices, and use an agents.markdown file for project level instructions and have it as living documentation. And we're going to jump into what that looks like a bit more in a minute, but check out the repository as well. Now, the project Eleanor and Isaac were working on was a multi-agent system that generates Wikipedia flashcards. The first agent does a Wikipedia search. The second does an analysis and summary. The third does the flashcard generation. So let's now jump in and just have a look at this agent's markdown, right? So in this markdown file, Eleanor specified the Git workflow, commit frequently, sign as AI, how to do research. So when using Pydantic AI or Logfire, for example, Get the AI to not rely on its weights, but to search the internet and find the documentation. How to manage the environment, coding style, and remember, it's living documentation. Now, what this allows you to do is to manage the context in a persistent markdown file. This means you have visibility and control over it, right? So in contrast, letting the agent do its own compaction and manage the context as part of the conversation obscures things and gives you less control, right? So. Just to be very clear, something else that's super important, use different tools for different tasks. So for planning, for phase one, writing out the entire plan, Eleanor used GPT 5.2, okay? Now then, when moving to execution, we move to something cheaper and faster. Claude Sonnet, in this case, but it's up to you. Now, this process demonstrated the value of knowing the models well also. GPT 5 tends to be overly verbose and suggest things that you didn't ask for. When we went to execution, Claude is prone to taking actions you didn't specify, right? So when you know the model well, you can adapt how you control it. And what we did was we executed in chunks, one step at a time, then fresh chat sessions for each major task. And we had the living documentation so the new chat session could know exactly what was up and not relying on its own compaction there. Phase three, super fun. Eleanor implemented observability with log fire in three, four minutes, something like that. Definitely check out that part of, of the live stream. And of course, the fact that the agent was able to, in real time, look at the current documentation and perform a search for log fire meant it could build the instrumentation immediately super well. So what I want you to take away from this, right? A few things, plan and then execute, human review of plans, Break down complex tasks, use discrete logical steps, get your agent to help you do that. Choose the right model for the right task. Make sure you instrument some form of basic observability. Don't outsource the thinking. Make sure you have the human oversight. Use the AI as a thought partner, right? Don't outsource the most important and fun stuff, which is the thinking and the creativity. We'll be doing a live stream podcast about all of this super soon. Links in the description. Also, check out our Luma calendar for upcoming events. And if you enjoyed this, the best way you can support it is hit like and subscribe and share with a friend. Have a good one.